I'm going to talk about a kind of a sketch of the proof of Cauchy's theorem and how to think about it. In Cauchy's theorem, we have two homotopic shapes, uh, and everything is really nice. You've got a holograph, uh, holomorphic function. Uh, these two are homotopic. Uh, the circle over here, the black circle, and the purple triangle are going to be homotopic with continuous partial second partial uh, second derivatives. Um, and we can see part of the homotopy here, right? First of all, the black circle morphs into the red mostly circle thing, then it goes to a green, that's kind of halfway between the circle and the triangle, then it goes to an orange thing that's almost a triangle, then it goes to uh, a purple triangle. And there are a whole bunch of points and uh, little shapes in between, but I can't draw them all because there's an uncountable number of them. I'm going to define this I sub S here. Uh, this I sub S just means, hey, so I sub zero is just going to be the function over the black the black circle. And then what, what we have is we have I sub one fourth is going to equal the one over the, the contour integral over this red thing. And I sub three fifths would be over the green. And I sub 0.9 is over the orange. And uh, I sub, or I of one would be over the purple. And so if everything is really nice, the value of the function i should not change if I go by a little bit, right? i sub 0 should be close to i of 0 0.0001. That's why we need such strict, uh, kind of such, such, such strict, strict uh, assumptions. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to have that this is differentiable. And so we're going to differentiate this function i sub s, which only depends on s, right? This is just the value of an integral. An integral is just a number uh, given a particular point in the homotopy. And we're going to show that this is equal to 0. And if I show that a function has derivative of 0, that means it's constant. If it's constant, that means that the integral is the same at all these different levels. In particular, it means that the black is the same as the purple, which is what we want to show. Uh, so we show that if two things are homotop homotopic, then the integrals are the same. Uh, and this is largely done just through some basic uh, integ integral trickery, right? D, D, S of I of S. We can use Leibniz's rule. Well, by definition, this is D, D, S of the integral of F of H sub T sub S uh, times this. I'm parameterizing F. Now, when I parameterize it, I stick in the value, and then I also have to multiply by the derivative. This is the gamma prime. And then, right, Leibniz's rule says that I can move this to the inside and it turns into partial with respect to s. And then you do a whole bunch of trickery uh, involving recognizing that things are just product rules. Uh, and then you end up with 0 to 1 d dt of f of h of t s, right? The h is like my gamma. dh ds partials dt. Okay, but now we can integrate, right? This right here, for any particular s, s is just fixed. Um, any particular s, I, I just have a regular old integral in one dimension. I can use the fundamental theorem of calculus. And the fundamental of the theorem of calculus says if you take the integral of the derivative, then essentially you just plug in the numbers. Right? So this is going to be equal to it's going to be equal to f as I evaluate at one times dhds evaluated at one minus f evaluated at zero because the limits of great integration are zero to one because Right, s equals 0 is the circle, s equals 1 is the triangle. Okay, let's keep in mind what the numbers are. The numbers 1 and, and 0 stand for t. t tells you to go around the circle. So when t equals 0 for the black, I start here, and then when t equals 1, I end up the same place. For the triangle, I'm at t equals 0 might be here, and then t equals 1 might be right there. So I always end up at the same place. So for any particular s, these two things are equal. And these two things are equal, which means that I'm just subtracting one thing from the other, and so it's equal to 0. That's because these are our closed loops. We're done. 